Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Enter the Gungeon with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Enter the Gungeon. We're gonna jump in with a pilot run. If you want to play along with me here, you can go ahead and check out the links in the description below the video to purchase this game. It's very fun, so I would definitely recommend it. Alright, we are back in the keep of the Lead Lord. Gonna take out these guys and we are going to get all the way down to the gungeon proper and beyond. This is it guys. This is the time that we get to chamber three. I thought there might be some more enemies down in this area. I was wrong, but I still think it was worth it to try to flip that table just in case. I'm feeling really good actually. I think I just had a warm-up run where I did exceptionally well. I did end up dying in the gungeon proper, but I, I just I did a pretty great job. And I'm coming hot off that. Taking a little damage I wish I hadn't, but it's gonna be just fine. We've got plenty of time to recoup that health and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it fall under the bus. Flare gun. Be nice to have. That thing is actually really sweet damage wise and damage over time wise after the actual hits themselves does quite a bit of fire damage i dig it a lot got some cover in case we need it don't think we're gonna i'm assuming this is gonna be it there's not gonna be a third wave in here i was right all right moving on we've got a treasure chest we're gonna remember to use our lock pick this time around it worked out just fine and we got the M1 Bolt Action Rifle. I believe we've seen this. It's not great, but it's not bad. Can't say it's bad. I'm just hoping there's something a little more potent in our second item room. And we do have a key for it if we need it. That's nice. Oh. This thing, the, the biggest advantage this thing has is the piercing shot, which is available on several other guns as well mostly charged weapons i believe whereas this just by default goes right on through enemies and if i could be a little bit more accurate it would be a lot better it's still great though all right wishing i could hit more than one enemy here at a time didn't see that wall in the way of that shot but it explains why it took so long for that guy to go around here those barrels are full of something Sadly, we do not get whatever that is when we walk over them. All right, this room is clear. No trouble. Ooh, let's just break all these. That's really satisfying. The animation is great. The sound design is just oh so satisfactory. We, we picked up two blanks already. I'd like to pick up a couple extra keys, maybe some armor, but blanks are nothing to sneeze at, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. What do we got going on here? Two more, two more paths to take. One of these has to lead us to our second item room. And here we got a fireplace room where we've discovered that there are secrets, but we don't quite know what they are yet. Okay. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Took out the little bullet guy and managed to do a little bit of damage to the bigger guy as well. So I take it back. This this gun, the M1. It's it's good to it's good to have. Oh man, that was that was a perfect opportunity to line them up for a shot, and I didn't do it. It looks like the bullet won't always go through the enemy. Maybe it only goes through if they don't absorb too much of the damage, or something like that. Or I saw that wrong. Maybe the bullet hit something without me noticing. But it looked like that one guy did stop the bullet from going through him. Maybe I should save the M1 for the boss fight. It does do quite a bit more damage than our rogue special. So I'd like to keep the last of the ammo for it intact for the time being. In case we don't get an ammo drop. These guys are not hard, but they're being a little bit of a pain here. Okay, one of them's down. Two down, and three. All set. Oh, we did get an ammo pickup, so that's nice. Should have just kept using my M1, but that's quite alright. 
And our second item room. We, oh, we failed to pick the lock, so we're just gonna have to use our, we can't use our key to, it, it broke the lock. It broke the lock. That's a shame. I don't, it says, chance to pick locks can only be used once per lock. These lock picks have never let the pilot down except for many times they did. That doesn't say it would break the lock. It just says I can't use the lock pick more than once. That's, that's a, a big letdown, I gotta say. Okay. Well, it looks like we're not gonna be able to get into the fireplace on this one unless we pick something up from our boss fight. Which doesn't seem terribly likely. Oh, well. We're gonna keep moving. We are fighting the trigger twins. This is gonna be a pretty nice time for the M1 to shine, actually. With two enemies on screen, and they do spawn more, uh, our piercing shot is gonna be pretty helpful. We've taken a hit here. Not terrible, but we, that doesn't mean we will not be getting our flawless bonus. I'm getting hit a little bit more than I'd like to. By which I mean at all. Oh, man, I dodged. Like, I thought I was stopping to not get hit. Turns out that bullet was just going for where I was already standing. This is not good. Oh. Really bad start to this episode, I gotta say. Getting locked out of that chest. Is the lockpick still even worth using? It's nice when it works, but it seems like the penalty for it failing to work is a little bit too high. And then just taking a lot of dumb damage in that Trigger Twins fight. But life goes on, and we have respawned here to try yet again in the keep of the Lead Lord. Jeez, I was really hoping that clip would take him out. There we go. He's gone. There's another wave here. Grenade guy. And uh, the slime guy that I didn't even see spawn. Could have been dangerous because I was real close to him. But we we managed to keep that from happening. And we're moving on. What's in here? Oh, there they are. Didn't see them at first. They're pretty far into the middle of the room. This guy's sneaking around here to try to get us. Catch us off guard, but he can't do that. We're, we're, too, we're too smart for him. We're gonna dis... You know... Dismantle these these guys here without a problem. Dispatch? I don't know. Ah, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of these, like, ghost mobsters. Not that they're... Not that they're bad enemies. They're just... They're kind of a pain sometimes. They're they're pretty pretty hard to kill. Of course, they are, I made it look real easy. And I'm sure that most people would probably disagree with me that those are actually a challenge to kill. But... Either way, I'm still not totally great at this game, and those guys bother me. Okay, here's our first item room. Do we use the lockpick? The answer there was yes. And we got the Mega Dowser, Dowser, which means we will be able to put out a fire and hopefully find a secret on this floor. Could have teleported back to here, but that's not a big deal. We're going to... Switch back to our rogue special here and not waste our Mega Dowser in the event that we do find a fireplace to use it on. Not that it's likely we'll run out of ammo for it before that, but you never know what could happen. I want to play it safe. Come on, yeah. That's right. You got nothing on me except for that one shot there that I should not have been standing in the way of at all. Looks like everything else is going to be down in this direction. Okay. Alright. And all done. Getting a decent amount of money out of this. Not enough to buy an item. What? Oh. Dang. Dang. What is happening? The, 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 the off-camera run I just did was fantastic. And I'm really just not living up to that right now. Okay. This room's done. Thankfully. That was more of a challenge than it should have been. But we're through it. We're, we're good. Is there a fireplace in here? There's not. There's not a fireplace in here. Hopefully we do find one on this floor. I'd like to demonstrate the secrets that lie within them. We came close in our... In, in an episode or two ago, we came close, but I didn't actually know what it did at that point. I did, in an off-screen run, 
actually managed to figure that out. All on my own, I found what the secret was. It, I, I, not intentionally, I kind of gave up looking for it. I really thought it was going to be like a, after the boss fight, after the boss fight, something happens. That's not the case, and I, I'd like to show you that. This is going to be a long path? No, okay. I was thinking like, how is this path down here going to get all the way up here? I didn't see this room up here, and that's the way we're going to go next to get to our shop. Fireplace? No, no fireplace. Get out of the way of that exploding barrel, because they are going to set it off whether they intend to or not. There we go, we took him out. I accidentally got hit there, but I, it was, was kind of a, a weird dodge, and then, I don't know. I really, I don't know how to describe what just happened, but you can go back and watch and see for yourself that maybe it's not 100% my fault that I got hit there. No excuses. I could have gotten away from it. Just saying, like it was, it was a weird, it was a weird little situation I was in. I'd really like to just get to my next item room. I think there's one left. And clear out. Oh, free item here. Not bad. What is it? I don't know. It's the table tech money. So that's what I, I, I can flip tables and. I get some of the money out of it. That'll help me get enough maybe to buy a couple items from the shop that are either useful or things we haven't seen before, or ideally both. Moving on to the shop, what do we got here? Phoenix, not great. Poison Vial, never had it, but I don't know, it could be good. And C4, which I've seen before, seen before. Um, I think I'm gonna need some armor, to be honest. And an extra key isn't going to hurt. I don't know if I want to use the lockpick a second time on the same floor. It seemed like last time we did that, it it locked us out of the chest, and I don't want to risk it. We do have one more item on this floor, and I'd really like to get it. What is that guy? What does he do? Like, what's that green thing? He doesn't seem to shoot bullets. Oh. And there's that symbol above their head again. I wonder if he is causing he's got to be causing that he does some sort of enchantment which causes them to have that symbol what's up with this fire pit right here oh oh that was cool i've never seen that before there's a little fire pit and you can tip it over and get the uh the ground all on fire right there that was amazing what do we have here potion of gun friendship plus one temporary plus one to gun i'm sure we'll get some good use out of it I'm gonna switch over to it for now, uh, if I can hit the right button. There we go. A fireplace! That is absolutely wonderful. Really happy that we managed to find one. I don't know if there's a guarantee of one being on each floor or not, but I've never... I, I, I feel like there's a chance you won't get one. I don't know. I guess, looking back on it, I can't recall a time we've ever not had a fireplace. But I, I wasn't always paying very close attention either before I knew what it was. So we're going to switch over to our Mega Dazzler, put out the fire, run into the fireplace, and pull the unseen switch, which should... Yep. There we go. We're going to teleport over to here, and I'll show you what that did. It opens up a little secret room somewhere on the current level. And in here, we actually have two locks. When I did this off camera, I only had enough to get into one of them. I'm gonna try to lockpick that one and I've got a key. It opens up a little hole. I don't know what this does. I haven't tried this yet. If I had to guess, it takes me down to the next floor, the gungeon proper in this case. And I skipped the boss fight, which means I'm also skipping out on a weapon or an item of some sort and some Hmon credits, but let's see what it does. See if I'm right about that. It's generating, it looks like that is exactly what it does. It takes me right down to the next floor. Oh no, it doesn't. The Aubliette Chamber, question mark, question mark, question mark. This is a mystery. I've just unlocked an achievement. Let me see what that was called. This achievement is called Great Hall. Okay, so this is a some sort of secret floor. 
I really have no idea what to expect here. Very likely could die. I'm going to keep out the Mega Desert because I think it's a little bit better for us than our Rogue Special. These are some enemies I have never seen before. Which makes sense. This is a secret floor. Why would it have the same old enemies? Slime Pit over there. Looking to be pretty dangerous. But hopefully it's got some good rewards for us. This box. We've seen him tons of times. He is a pain. But we've taken him out. Without too much trouble. There's pizza on the floor right there. Just a slice of pizza. It's a little weird. It's a waste of pizza. Okay, I gotta flip this table up. Gives me a little money. So that's nice. But also, gives me cover from these... This... This very high quantity of enemies in this one spot right here. I'm shooting water. I'm breaking barrels full of water. What is this barrel? Slime barrel. Seems pretty dangerous. Looks like... Oh, okay. So... I had to dive roll, dodge roll through that in order to not die, in order to not get hit by some bullets. It looks like if you wait in it too long, you will start to take damage, though. It, se it seemed to have a timer on it. I really was hoping there would not be more enemies in here. This is a very difficult room to kind of maneuver. We got plenty of ammo left in our Mega Dowser. Not worried about running out, at least not yet. I'm hoping I can pick up a little bit of extra ammo at some point. wonder if there's a... Uh, Rat guy. Little robber rat that'll steal the ammo on this floor. I assume that he's on every floor, but maybe not. Maybe the secret floor is devoid of the the jerk rat guy. See that see see how that dot was filling up there? I think that's a timer on when we'll start to take damage inside of that poison. So we just gotta make sure we we can walk over it, just try not to stay there too long. It probably most effective to dodge roll over as much of it as possible if we do have to go over it. That health is going to be extraordinarily helpful to us. We can now survive three entire hits. The fourth will kill us, but it's better than only being able to survive once. Oh man, this is one of those platformy rooms. I'm not a big fan of these. I've n not yet survived in anything like this. I don't know how to get all the way over there. I am just going to go on back to here. Maybe this will circle around and I won't have to go through this room at all. That would be the best case scenario for me, but doesn't seem too likely. But I'd like to explore as much of this floor as possible and figure out maybe maybe this is uh, replacing our boss fight on the first floor or something. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back up to the Keep of the Lead Lord is what I'm saying. In the future, it might be a better idea to complete our boss fight from the first floor and then come down into the secret floor. We'll see where this takes us and determine from there if that's the best course of action. This is a big slime pit here. Got to get over to the other side of it, go around these walls. This is pretty cool, though, and I think I'm doing pretty well here. So I'm not disappointed with my first trip to the, uh, whatever this floor is called. It had a difficult to pronounce name. I can't believe I just let that guy hit me. That was that was a pretty bad move on my part. Just real bad dodging. Oh, there are some more enemies spawning in here. I'm running out of water for my Mega Dowser. But that's fine. The, the Rogue Special's not bad. Hey, there is a shop on this floor, so it's not too different from any regular floor. There are just a lot of weird, like, rolling around gun can on the I can stomp them out. That is disturbing. What? I'm going to go over here and stomp all these guys out. Maybe I get a reward for putting them out of their misery or something like that. Who knows? Not I. Do you? If you do, let me know in the comments. I appreciate any feedback you can give me, any help, hints, things like that. I do enjoy discovering things for myself, but that doesn't mean it's the only way to play. So whenever I make big mistakes, just let me know. Alien sidearm, that sounds cool. Costs 36. Or the ammo belt for also 36. Maybe I should pick up a key. Can I get... I'm going to get the alien sidearm because I haven't seen it before. It's a shield breaker. That's pretty cool. And we can still afford a key or half a heart. Either or not. Both will do half a heart just to stay alive. Key would be nice, but we do still have a lock pick. I don't remember what this other... Oh, looks like I... I have to rapid click, I can't hold to fire this one. Which is fine, just wasn't expecting it. The Mega Dowser 
What is what does this space bar item do? I don't think I've used it yet. Gun. Oh yeah, is the jar of like gun friendship or something? Temporary gun friendship. Doesn't appear to have done anything really for me in this uh, room. Maybe it just increases the damage output of my own weapon. I was hoping maybe the bullet-themed enemies would fight for me for a short time. That would have been cool. Probably a little overpowered on the early floor, like when almost every enemy is bullet themed. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I gotta use a, a blank on that. It's always nice to save those a little longer, but when you gotta use them, you gotta use them, and it's better to stay alive than keep a whole bunch of blanks. Okay, I cleared that. I was expecting a few more enemies. Let's squash these guys. We might get a reward for it. Or maybe it's it's even like a, a punishment. Maybe if we crush too many of them, we get... Like, they, they, they punish us for being so rude. I don't know. Either way, it might just be nothing. It might be just for, uh, you know, like eye candy. Oh, no, 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 no. Sniper guys. Not a big fan. I've said before that they're actually a lot easier than they seem, and I, I kind of take it back. They are a pretty challenging enemy, and if they, if you don't notice that one is about to shoot, it can be really bad for you, because they, you can't really dodge the shots after they've been fired, at least not too easily. Wow, this is a lot of fire around this room. I did clear it, so that's good. And there's a, there's a teleporter in here. I'm gonna switch back to my rogue special and take out that barrel. All right. Ooh, we got an item. We're gonna have to use our trusty lockpicks for it. Hopefully we don't get locked out. We didn't, we got in. And it looks like a new item for us. It is the Loranthi ring, dodge power up. Uh, it probably modified our dodge in some way. Let's see what it says specifically though. Oh hey, the trash cannon has joined the shootout. This must be maybe from unlocking this secret floor. Who knows? This. Ancient ring spins slowly about its axis, even when worn, it is of unknown origin. I think I've actually seen this before. I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I've seen this. It improves dodging in some way. Don't know exactly how, but it does. Are we... It looks like we're not going to be able to circle back around to here, so I am going to have to do that platformy esque section of the map if I want to explore the whole thing. And if there's a boss fight over there, I'm just going to have to do it overall. Oh, I can actually just shoot those guys gone. I don't have to stomp on them like I thought. I still don't know what that does for us. Maybe it just angers everyone around us and makes makes the enemies a little... Make, for each one, the enemies become a little bit harder, more aggressive in some way. I don't know. We'll have to keep doing it to, to see if maybe there's an effect that's subtle until it gets extreme. Man. A lot of shots coming in. These slime guys are being a little bit of a pain. Trying to dodge them and the shots at the same time is not always easy. Hey, another free item. What do we got here? Clobby, everyone's favorite. Maybe it's my new favorite as well. Let's check it out. This says, Gungeonologists have long debated what is truly the worst gun in the dungeon. More Gungeoneers have perished with Clobbies in their inventory than any other gun. Coincidence? That doesn't sound good at all. Maybe I should try to get rid of this. I'm gonna check it out, see how it how it works before I just blatantly drop it. Whoa, there. That is quite a few bullets at once. It shoots really fast. It doesn't appear to do much damage at all though. So maybe the fast shooting isn't actually as advantageous as you would think due to just the terrible accuracy and incredibly low damage. And it takes Quite a while to reload, it it appears. I am killing stuff. It looked like I actually killed an enemy that I hadn't even seen. Like, over in the back there before I walked over to here. That is a big old mushroom. I think one of these was, like, also a few rooms ago. But I'm going to switch back to a different gun to take that guy out. Because I am a little nervous about him. I got hit. I guess I got hit. Maybe by these slow-moving shots that I wasn't expecting to linger quite so long. I'm going to go ahead and use my last blank there. I did take out that mushroom, so that's nice. Maybe he didn't need to use that blank, but I think it was worth it just for the peace of mind. We have found our boss battle, so we don't need to go back and do every room here. As it may be dubious for us to try to cross those platforms. I do want to come back here and hopefully buy some health. No health for sale, no armor either. 
That's not great. We're going to have to go over to here. And I want to clear out this other room. I think I'd rather... I'd rather die trying to get a little bit more health than losing a boss fight because I wasn't able to get hit at all. It, this room wasn't too bad. Oh, there's more stuff spawning, so I guess I spoke too soon. But still, just it's bats. Blats, I believe they're called. Oh, that was really close to that grenade guy shooting me. And we did get a little bit more health for our, pro for our trouble. So I think it was totally worth it. We're going to keep exploring as many rooms as we can to try to you know, improve our chances. Oh, we got the lock off of that. That's perfect. Okay. This is the Emperor. Electric Terror. That sounds absolutely amazing. I'm hoping that's going to kind of just seal the deal for it. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, maybe that gives us a better chance in the boss fight. If we get there, uh, this is seeming like we might not have a chance to get out of here alive. More enemies spawning. That's not good. I, I'm a little worried here. And we did get hit in the secret floor, whatever it's called, the Albuliette or something along those lines. That means we have died. We didn't actually kill any bosses despite getting to a second floor. We're going to return to the breach. I don't think we have any h mound credits. Oh, we do have two. That's not enough to purchase anything that's for sale, though. So that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. If you want to see more in the future, click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode.